the first note in the Alfa Romeo. Mazda is gone now. Goodbye and good luck. Uh, note on uh, American Gangster. A very good film with a splendid cast. Denzel Washington, Russell Crowe uh, in the leading roles. American gangster, the American gangster is Denzel Washington, Frank Lucas, but the supporting cast is also amazing. Josh Brolin, Chiwetel Ejiofor, um, Cuba Gooding Jr., Armand Asante, Idris Elba, and the list is not finished. Ridley Scott, the director of Alien. Blade Runner and The Martian <laughs> uh, is at the helm of this movie. I'm laughing because I just remembered his statement regarding The Martian and its inclusion in the comedy category at the Golden Globes. Uh, his comment was amusing, um, notwithstanding his very serious and grave uh, appearance. He seems to be a very uh, martial man. Not Martian, but martial. <clears throat> um, the tagline is interesting and says a lot about the movie. It is indeed, in this case, a sort of an essence. Uh, there are two sides to the American dream. Indeed. This is the dark side, this is the gangster. And even if we have the violence, the drugs and so many other elements that we're familiar with from uh, Goodfellows, uh, Casino, Godfather, there are differences. Uh, in those films, Sopranos and so many more series, um, the gangsters, the mobsters are Italian. Many of them have some Irish, some Jewish building leaders, but uh, this is one of the few that I know wherein we have a, a, an important, outstanding, in Mafia terms, leader who is Native American, Denzel Washington. And then also, if in other film fair, uh, I'm thinking Breaking Bad and the like, uh, the drugs come from Mexico, and that's, that's the situation, most of the drugs come from the South in the North American market. Uh, there is a difference, a big difference here. Um, it's true we're talking... we're talking the 1970s, so a different time, but this Frank Lucas was so ingenious and intrepid that he came up with a In, with a with a uh, different plan, he brought his drugs, heroin, all the way, all the way from South Asia. Bribed army officials in the process, of course, but he had it flown. These drugs were flown to him from all the way from from the south of Asia. There are many corrupt officials, apart from the, of the aforementioned uh, army personnel. In fact, the policemen seem all to be on the take. Which is maybe artistic license and exaggeration, I don't know, but uh, George Brolin is one of them. Uh, he, 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 a leader of one such group of organized crime in policemen clothes. They're so ruthless and daring that they take the confiscated drugs from the police, uh, acting as insiders, as police, and they sell it on the street. They, they give it to their partners in crime and they sell it on the street. And then, of course, there's the character Richie of um, Russell Crowe, who is the only innocent man in this. Of, of importance in this whole narrative. 
uh, he is so clean that he finds I forgot the exam sum but it's close to a million dollars thereabouts and mafia money and um, he hands it in and all the others are flabbergasted annoyed upset how, how could he do that give this dirty money to the authorities instead of pocketing it himself with the partner that he that was there with him so he becomes an outcast uh, his private life is also uh, alas uh, not working he has to fight for the custody of his child and he is dedicated to finding and putting this American gangster behind bars. A very good 